Penny, we haven't discussed details yet, but I thought it would be very educational for you to come with me. Pharaoh Poodletooth's treasures go on exhibit tomorrow, and you'll be one of the first to see the most spectacular collection ever uncovered from the sands of Egypt. Oh, I can hardly wait, Uncle Gadget. I want you to give Gadget a quick lesson in desert survival. But make sure he doesn't pass the test. Whatever you say, Dr. Claw. Gadget doesn't even suspect we're here. He's in for a surprise. Isn't he mad? <laughs> Penny, it's just a desert nomad, no doubt coming to sell us some handicrafts. <laughs> just remember to be polite and don't buy anything that's overpriced. No, thank you. <laughs> We're not interested in any souvenirs. Very nice leather work. But we're not interested. This guy is just a little too pushy. Go, go, Gadget Mobile! That's odd. Sounds like a thunderstorm in the desert. Correction. Make that a hailstorm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Gadget! A cliff! Don't be silly, Penny. There are no cliffs in the desert. It's just a mirage. Maybe it wasn't a mirage. Go, go, Gadget! Show! Now that I think about it, one of those whips would have made a nice gift for Chief Quimby's office. Is that you, Chief? Where? Right away, Chief. Would you be so kind as to park my car, young man? Well. Might as well eat something while we wait for... Chief! Glad to see you made it, Gadget. Here's your assignment. Dr. Claw, planning to steal the treasures of Pharaoh Putatut. Must guard artifacts, especially sarcophagus. This message will self-destruct in 30 seconds. Why, the treasure of Putatut is irreplaceable. Right, Gadget. So we can't let it fall into Mad's hands. You can count on me, Chief. Inspector Gadget is always on duty. Be careful, Gadget. Remember Pharaoh Putatut's curse. Nonsense, Chief. A 4,000-year-old curse is just superstitious rubbish. Oh, I think Putatut's curse has already started. Well, Gadget, you managed to evade my desert traps, but I promise you, you won't survive the curse of Putatut. Will he mad cast? <laughs> Shh! 
Gee, Uncle Gadget, wait till I tell the kids at school about this. Remember, Penny, this exhibit doesn't open until tomorrow. This is just a sneak preview for the press. You're one of the first non-scientific people to see the sarcophagus of Putatut. Oh, I've never seen anything so rich. Yes, Penny, that Putatut must have been quite a guy. A little flamboyant, but that's politics. You can get a ride back to the hotel with the reporters. It's time for me to swing into action. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Of course, Penny, that is, unless the Pharaoh's curse gets me. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Brain, but there's something strange about this place. You stay here and watch Uncle Gadget. I'm gonna have a look around. Gadget, you are going to be the first victim of the curse of <laughs> mad. <laughs> Taking a course in macrame. <laughs> enough is enough. Go, go, gadget scissors. Go, go, gadget scissors. <laughs> There's a sandwich machine around here somewhere. From the sounds of it, I must have skipped breakfast, too. tells me I must have made a wrong turn. Right, now I remember. It's straight through here. Now, this looks familiar. Gadget is always on the right track. Uh-oh. Stay back. <laughs> Brain, where's Uncle Gadget? <laughs> Uncle Gadget and the sarcophagus have disappeared? Impossible. Things just don't disappear. You find Uncle Gadget and don't let him know you're following him. And I'll try to track down the sarcophagus. Oh. I can't guard the Pharaoh's treasure if I'm wandering around here all night. The foyer must be around the next corner. Huh? Hmm. This guy looks suspicious. Maybe he's one of Dr. Claw's men. Here to steal 
the treasure. Or maybe... All right, don't move. I've got you totally surrounded. Now, what did you do with the foyer? So you won't talk, eh? We'll see about that. I'm taking you in for questioning. As soon as I find my way out of here. I got the heavier end. Let's switch. Uh, forget it. We flipped. I got heads, you got tails. Let's go. They must be mad agents. Chief Quimby was right. They're stealing the Pharaoh's treasure. Sarcophagus, you find Uncle Gadget, and I'm gonna follow them with my sonar signal. Row, row. Never mind the moaning. Your bandages didn't fool me, so it's no use trying to make me think you're hurt. I have no sympathy for lawbreakers. So you slipped away. No one gets away from Inspector Gadget and gets away with it. This maze was created long ago by Buddha Toot to trap intruders who came to steal his treasure. But now it will allow us to escape and to put an end to your meddling forever. Stop in the name of the law. I am Inspector Wowzers. Go, go, Gadget Links. easy. <laughs> you still sure gotta hand it to the boss for this one. This thing must be worth a fortune. Yeah, and no one will know how we grab it right from under Gadget's nose. That's because no one knows about the tunnels except the boss. Come on, let's hurry up and get this to him. Uh, what? what? I thought you were real. Yeah. Well, there is a real mummy, and he's not a mad agent like us. Uh, let's just get this thing out of here before he comes back. What are you fools doing? But, boss, there was this little... Not now. Get him <laughs> loose. Get him. <laughs> I think this tune would make a nice little retirement home for Gadget permanently. <laughs> I want your opinions. I'll give them to you. Okay, Brain, this is it. Get Uncle Gadget down here on the double. Do you read me? I'm going to try and track down Dr. Claw. <coughs> Good boy. <gasps> well, what have we here? He should be coming this way any time now. Is everything ready? Everything but Gadget. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Sneaky suspicion that I'm getting bigger. Impossible. The walls must be closing in on me. Go, go, gadget arms! <laughs> Holy fly paper, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I just don't understand how accidents like this happen. Oops. Getting tight in the air. Oh, what? So, it was you again. I'll get you this time. Stop, police! You'll never get away with this. Yikes! It's the real mommy! Bray, quick! must have taken a shortcut. He won't get away with this again. I will wait in here, and at precisely the right moment, Gadget will spring his trap. <laughs> See? I told you there was a real mummy around here. Yeah, he almost got me. Uh, quit yapping, and let's get this thing to the boss. Stay where you are. I've got a plan. Turn your caller receiver up all the way and plug your ears. This is Pharaoh who died A curse. Eternal and everlasting. Sting is cast on any who dare to remove me from my rightful place of rest. Return me and be spared. Come on, Gray! What are you doing? Uh, it's the curse of Puta Tooth Force! You mean the curse of Gadget? Stop! You're under arrest! Where'd he go? Oh, well. Gadget, you've done it again. Thanks, Chief. Look, I want to tell you about this little guy in bandages that's been snooping around. He was trying to escape with the others. We caught them all, except Dr. Claw. Good morning, Uncle Gadget. What was it like spending the night here? To tell you the truth, Penny, boring. I spent all night looking for a snack machine, and I just realized I don't have any change. It will be great to get inside and look at the stars. <laughs> They're not real stars, Uncle Gadget. The real stars can't have gone far. I'll track them down for you, great inspector. All right, what happened to the stars? Hey, man, like, wow, well, you know? All right, what happened to the stars? Won't talk, eh? Okay, I'm taking you in. Wow, I'm flying. Yeah. <laughs> They can see a man's face in the moon. Yes, Chief. You're where? I'll be right there. 
Go, go, gadget late. Chief, are you here? Here's your assignment, Gadget. Go, go, Gadget flashlight. Mad scientist changing face of Moon for Claw's birthday. Proceed to Moon and stop Mac. Rocket waiting. Caution. This message will self-destruct. Right away, Chief. Ah! It was nothing, really. The man is a living legend. Oh, maybe I'm getting too old for this kind of work. Now it's ready. I'm ready. There. It's ready for Operation Moonshot. Yeah! We're ready, Uncle Gadget. This will be too dangerous for you, Penny. But I told my teacher I do a report on the moon. Well, all right. Oh, thank you, Uncle Gadget. But you'll have to stay out of the way. Whee! I can fly! I can fly! Oh, great inspector. I'll fly you to the rocket. A race to the launching pad? Uh, yes, a wondrous one. I fly quite well now. Good to know, Captain. Ready? Go. That's enough of a head start. Fly, fly, Super Cape Man! Did I fly far? Who asked you, anyhow? I have to move out of this neighborhood. Come in, Dr. Claw. Report. Inspector Gadget is here to take the rocket to the moon. Uh, Gadget, eliminate him. <laughs> yes, Doctor. Go, go, Gadget Clock. Almost time for the liftoff. Where's Captain? Ah, here comes the forklift to load the Gadget Mobile on the rocket. He's driving awfully fast. Of course, Penny. Everything in the space room has to go fast. Right this way, fella. <laughs> Here comes the forklift. I'll give him a hand. Go, go, gadget lifter. <laughs> that was close, Brain. I have a feeling Dr. Claw is behind this. Yeah, I'm right wrong. Wait, Inspector! <laughs> oh, you must have taken the shortcut, oh great one. You're just in time, Captain. I would have made better time if I'd had a tailwind. It's so exciting, Brain. We're really going to the moon. I could have made much better time if I'd had this win. Inspector Gadget, this way. Coming through. That's more like it. Everything is ready. What's going on? Gadget had that fool cape man. Gadget's on the moon shuttle. You must eliminate him. All safe now, a eh, great inspector. Brain, it's dangerous if you don't fasten your seatbelt. <laughs>
right now, Brain. Brain? Well, for your viewing pleasure, we will now open the shuttle port. It's great to be in space again. Yes, great. I love space. Look, Brain, aren't the stars beautiful? Excuse me, Inspector. We need your help in the aft compartment. Gladly, Inspector Gadget is always on duty. Wowzers! I'll give you a hand. Golly, my flying is improving. Hey, great, Inspector! You'd better follow them, Brain. <laughs> Inspector, it's safe now. You can go in. Thank you, Captain. I don't know how I ever managed without you. The problem leak is in here, Inspector. Uh -oh. I'm afraid there's only room for one. It's all right, Captain. I can handle this. Go, go, gadget magnifying glass. If you need to speak to your friend, just push the red button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you warned me. I thought it was some emergency exit button. Wow! It's a fire drill! <laughs> Improving with every try. Oh, oh! Well, look at that. Captain is improving amazingly. Yeah, I improved a lot. That's normal on the moon. <sighs> Hooray! I'm flying. Please stop it. <laughs> Brain. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I brought something for you, Penny. Whee! This is great, Uncle Gadget. Mwah! I can't 
keep them down with this thing. I'll use my gravity charger. Too much gravity. I've almost got it. So, now what happens? That's obvious. The doll that went up will eventually fall down. You two have failed me. Gadget is on the moon. Eliminate him, and I mean now. What's that, Brain? Brain, Dr. Claw's up to something. We better watch Uncle Gadget. This time, I'll fly even farther. Wondrous Inspector, watch this! Hey, what is that? Wowzers, it's a little woman in the moon. Perfect. The bomb is in place. A little gravity is all those two need. Oh! Wow! I forgot how to fly! Wow! We did it! When the doll goes boom, it will be doom for Gadget! Hello, Mademoiselle! Brain, that doll is a bomb! And they're blocked by a gravity super force! Whoa! Okay. There! seconds, we can... Say Gadget is no more. A walk along the bottom of a crater isn't so bad. <gasps> I brought the moon creature along. My name is Inspector Gadget. I would advise you to cooperate. We come in peace. And my name is Cake Man. You better fess up. Brain, we have to get that bomb away from them. Moon Lady. Help me find her. My pleasure. You stay here and keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. I'll go find those mad agents. The Moon Girl is gone, dear Inspector. Captain, we must continue the search. Yes, Inspector. I'll go this way, Captain. You go the other. Yes, Ultimate Inspector. That kid is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Soon the celebration will begin, Mad Cat. Be sure Gadget is gone. I want no more interference. Don't worry, Dr. Claw. He will no longer interfere. Ten minutes to blasting time. Each doll is in the right place. To explode at the right time. And show our beautiful MAND logo forever over the Earth. Good. Be sure it works. <laughs> but what does it mean? This is the face of the moon now. If there were some more explosions here and there... Oh, Dr. Claw, this is too much even for you. So, here you are. I am friend. Me, Gadget. Here, Brain, keep an eye on this one. <laughs> this Moon Lady will be a big hit on Earth. Look, Great Inspector, I found two more. Hi. Welcome, Moon Ladies. We must learn to communicate with them. Finally, the big doll for the big hole of Mad Logo. 
This crater is just right for this doll. A big, big hole. <laughs> The job's not done yet. Come back. Come back. Come here. Come back. Oh. Wait for me. Oh, no. All the bombs are gathered around Uncle Gadget. Three minutes until they explode. I've got to hurry. Wowzers! Look, Hapman, it's their mother! Oh, Mom! Oh, Moon Mom! It's Gadget! He's alive! Brain, get the bombs out of the Gadget Mobile! We only have 30 seconds! Hello, Moon Lady! Hi, Moon Mommy! Hello! Are you Moon People, too? You are being rude and crude towards this lady. She is our friend. What's going on, Brain? <laughs> oh, no! Give me that, Brain! <laughs> Kate, man, let go! Hurry! What? Please hurry! Outrageous! You've ruined my birthday party on the moon, Gadget. But just wait till you get back to Earth. I wonder where the moon ladies went. Anyway, hang on, everybody. It's a good thing you remember to buckle your seatbelt, Brain. I could just hold on real tight. Go, go, Gadget's seatbelt. <laughs> we always need to remember our seatbelt, even for short trips. Especially if you're as far away as the moon. According to this sign, Uncle Gadget, this is Congo, largest gorilla in captivity. He likes bananas, cantaloupes, and papayas. He doesn't like... Interesting animal. Watch me get his attention. But Uncle Gadget, he doesn't like... Huh? Uncle Gadget, look out! Wowzers! What's got into him? I was trying to tell you, Uncle Gadget. He doesn't like people imitating him. Now you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a ride. My ears are ringing. Uncle, that's your top secret gadget phone. Is that you, Chief? You're where? I'm right here. Oh, hi, Chief. Here's your assignment, Gadget. Two oldest tribes in the Balkan Mountains are waging battle, endangering the entire area. Suspect mad plot. Investigate. This message will self-destruct. I'm always on duty, Chief. On my way. Uh-oh. Gadget! Wait a minute. This assignment will give me a chance to test my newest gadget. Go, go, Gadget Rocket States. I think they need a little more work. Wait! Come back here! I better check where Uncle Gadget is going. Those tribes must be the Hooplas and the Duplas, the longest living tribes on Earth. We'd better follow Uncle Gadget. Soon, I'll have the ancient mountain goat and its special yogurt. Then every man agent will be as strong as an army and stay youthful forever. And mad will rule the world. <laughs> Excuse me.
Excuse me, this is where I get off. I'm sorry, sir, but the airport is miles away. If you can keep a secret, I am Inspector Gadget on an urgent case. Sorry, sir. First door on your left. Thank you. Go, go, Gadget Brella! After him, Brain. I'll meet you down below. <laughs> Wowzers! Go, go, Gadget Coke! Further, the two tribes of Hoopla and Dupla are fighting over there. Thank you for the lift. Goodbye. Ah, it's a beautiful day for a stroll up a friendly Balkan road. And there's a mountain lady and her donkey. Oh, that's very quaint. Beating time, Nakita. Kick the cart, and I will double your lunch. Excuse me, madam. Could you tell me how to get to the villages of Hoopla and Dupla? Right this way, sir. Step past the turnstile. Thank you. I'll be on my way. That's right. Just go straight through. <laughs> Serves him right, pushing in front of me like that. Go, go, gadget legs! I never did like revolving doors. Stop! You can't do that! Idiot! Make sure he never reaches the villagers of Hoopla. Let's see now. That's Hoopla on the right and Dupla on the left. Or is it the other way around? Go, go, gadget binoculars! Hmm, some kind of ancient mountain games taking place. Maybe I can join them. Upon the lift, young man! Why, thank you. I wouldn't mind at all. Jump in the back! What a sweet old lady. I'm going on to the village of Dupla. You keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. Bow, wow. There's the village. How did he do that? This calls for some investigating. Old 
than not to keep the goat to themselves. We do need the magic yogurt. Fire three! Open the gates. It is I, Yuri Senior, and the goat. He dropped something. Hmm. Some kind of goat's milk yogurt. Whoa. This is strong stuff. Got to find that goat. But how will I get in there? Margiar! A spy from Dubla is approaching. What? We'll give him a warm welcome. Heat up the bread oven. <laughs> Introduce myself. My name is Inspector Gadget, and I'm. Whoa! What a warm welcome! Go, go, Gadget Waterfinger! A steam bath! Just the thing after a long hike. Who does he do it? We'll have to use more drastic measures! Toss him in the pit! Did anybody order double cheese? <laughs> Tough crowd. What are we doing now? It's lunchtime. Really? I could use a bite right now. Then a bite you're going to get, Gadget, in the bear pit. Gadget out of the way. It will soon be yours, Dr. Claw. Excellent. Do not fail me. That goat's yogurt will give me eternal youth. Sounds like I'm not the only one that's hungry. <gasps> Raw him in! Go, go, Gadget Spring! <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Wowzers! I don't think this furry fellow wants to make friends. Go, go, Gadget Copter! But I really must get back to my investigation. Let's get rid of this troublemaker once and for all. <laughs> Gadget, I thought I was rid of you. Wowzer, some welcome. Hi, fellas. Master Yuri, that man is a spy from Hoopla. What? We know how to take care of spies in Dupla. Well, they're taking care of Gadget. I'll steal the goat. Rain, you made it. You keep an eye on Uncle Gadget. I'd better find that goat before Dr. Claw's agents do. He is here to steal the mystical goat. <laughs> really, fellas, I must get back to work. We'll give him the ancient mountain welcome. Tie him to the stake. Just as I thought. This goat's yogurt has some strange culture that gives these people incredible strength and eternal youth. 
Okay, Goat, you're coming with me. <gasps> Someone's coming. So there you are. We shouldn't keep Dr. Claw waiting now, should we? That's a mad agent dressed like one of the old men of the village. Hmm, everything seems quiet. We have a right to that goat, too. It's time to attack. Another game, fellas? This is some festival you're having. Send them our happy guest. <laughs> hey, fun is fun, but I have an investigation to take care of. Look, Goros, there he is again. Go, go, gadget coat. That mad agent is escaping with the goat. I've got to stop him before he reaches Dr. Claw. The goat is on its way, Dr. Claw. <laughs> Excellent. I'll meet you on the mountain top. <laughs> this will take care of him. <laughs> wow! It sprung a leak. Yikes! <laughs> Women seem to be in a terrible hurry. Wowzers! Go, go, gadget arms! It must be lunchtime. All right, you old goat. Where's the goat? Ah, pipe down, you old hag. Papa, Papa! Huh? Look! That man took our goat! Now look what you've done! Never mind that. Let's just get him. But first, we're all going to need a mouthful of our energy-giving yogurt. Line up! Oh, ah. I feel 50 years younger! <coughs> Yahoo! I could flatten the mountain! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Thanks, 
Sonny. We really appreciate all you've done. And here's your reward. For a young whelp like you, that should last a week. Kids today, they're all so greedy. Anyway, time for a celebration. Hit it, boys! Well, I guess we can head home now, Brain. Brain? <laughs> Chief Quimby! Ah, oh, Gadget! Oh, hi, Chief! Nice work, Gadget. Oh, it was nothing, Chief. This place has been pretty quiet. Except for these old folks and their festivals. Hey, you! Come on, let's dance! Blast! Immortality was almost in my hands. You pay for this, Gadget! That goat milk yogurt has made me so peppy, just like those old folks in the mountains. But all elderly people aren't as energetic as their younger friends. Let me help you, madame. So when you see one of our precious senior citizens on a street... Lend a hand. The smile you get will be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> 